please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEC scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 chemistry questionnaire for the undergraduate scholarships. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Now we try to solve the first three questions in problem four. First, 3.0 moles of nitrogen and 9.0 moles of hydrogen were added into a volume variable reactor with a smooth piston as shown in the figure below. Next, the ammonia synthesis reaction, this reaction here, with an enthalpy, standard enthalpy of negative 92 kilojoules per mole, proceeded at constant temperature and constant pressure in the presence of a solid catalyst. After the reaction reached an equilibrium state, the mole fraction of ammonia was 50%. The volume of the mixed gas was 3.0 liters before the reaction, and all gases can be regarded as ideal gases. We need to calculate the number of moles for nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia after the reaction to two significant figures. We need to calculate the amount of heat generated by the reaction, and we also need to calculate the volume of the gas or mixed gas after the reaction to two significant figures. Let us now recall some stoichiometry. If we are given this reaction, and this has to be a balanced reaction, so first we need to, to balance the equation here. What this says is that the ratio of the number of moles consumed or produced, so consumed if it is in the product, so the number of moles consumed of the product, of the of the reactant rather, of the reactant A and B, and then produced of the products C and D, and the energy absorbed or released, so that's the delta H here, the enthalpy, is equal to H. If they, are the, if, if they have these values, A, B, C, D, and H, then the ratio of those is A is to B is to C is to D is to H. So that means that they're all proportional to each other with these proportionality ratio, proportionality constants rather. And we also need to remember the ideal gas law, which is just PV equals NRT. And so if you have a constant temperature and a constant pressure, then, and you have a changing volume and a changing amount of gas, moles of gas, so you can get this V over N and then this bit here will be constant because T is constant, P is constant, and of course R is constant. So the ratio of the volume to the amount of gas before the change will be the same as the ratio after the change. Now we need to compute the number of moles of nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia after the reaction. So before the reaction, we know the number of moles of nitrogen and the number of moles of hydrogen. And of course, we do not have any ammonia at first. And the total number of moles of ideal gas before the reaction is 12.0. So we just add them. We just add them. 3 plus 9 plus 0 is 12 moles in total. During the reaction, some nitrogen will be consumed, some hydrogen will be consumed, and some ammonia will be produced. But we do not know that in advance. We do not know how much of each is consumed or produced in advance. So let's say X moles of nitrogen was consumed. If that's the case, then because of this balanced equation and from stoichiometry, the coefficients are the ratio. So A is to B, so that means 1 is to 3. For every X moles of nitrogen consumed, 3x moles of hydrogen is consumed, and also 2, 2x moles of ammonia is produced. And again, that's from here. A is to B is to C, so 1 is to 3 is to 2, 1 is to 3 is to 2. So now we can compute the amount of, of these reactants and products after the reaction. So we just for the reactants, we just subtract. So we, we had 3 before the reaction, then we consumed X, 
So we're left with 3 minus x moles of nitrogen, 9 minus 3x moles of hydrogen, and we have 0 plus 2x moles of ammonia because ammonia here is produced. It's the product. And the total number of moles of ideal gas is just, we add all these 3 minus x, 9 minus 3x plus 2x, so that's 12 minus 2x moles in total. We did that because we are given that the mole fraction of ammonia is 50%. So 50% is one half, and this is the mole fraction. So one half is the mole fraction of ammonia. And we also know that this mole fraction is actually the total number of moles of ammonia divided by the total remaining moles of the ideal gas. And we know the remaining moles of ammonia, and that is 2x. And we know the remaining moles of or rather the total remaining moles of all the of the gases in the mixture, and that's 12 minus 2x. So we get this equation, 1 half equals 2x over 12 minus 2x. Now we can, we are going to solve for x, and that's going to tell us how much of the nitrogen was consumed. Okay, so we need, we will know how much was consumed. And this is pretty straightforward. We just multiply both sides by 2 and 12.0 minus 2x. So we will get the following. So this is what we get from doing the multiplication from the previous slide. And it's easy to solve. We get that x equals 2.0. And that means 2.0 moles of nitrogen was consumed. Consumed. And therefore, how much remains? There is 3.0 at the beginning, and 2 was consumed. And therefore, the remaining nitrogen is one mole. Now we do the same for for hydrogen. So x is two, so nine minus three times two, so nine minus six, three moles of hydrogen is left after the reaction. And for the product, two x. So two times two point zero is four moles of ammonia was produced after the reaction. Now we need to calculate the amount of heat produced generated. So if you see it, if you see this negative sign, that means that heat is generated by the reaction. And this is also pretty straightforward because the ratio of the amount of moles of, of product produced to the amount of, of heat produced is just the same. So 2 is to negative 92. So again, that comes from this ratio here. And so we already know that we produced 4 moles. So that's from the previous slide. We produce four moles of ammonia. So that's twice this. And therefore, we also produce twice the heat. So we get negative 184 kilojoules of heat. Again, negative sign. The negative sign means that the energy is generated. So it's released to the environment. Now we're going to look for the volume of the mixed gas after the reaction. Now this relationship here comes in handy. So V over N, the ratio of the volume to the amount of moles before the reaction is the same as the ratio after the reaction. So we just need to know, so what we're looking for is this volume after the reaction. So we need to know the volume before the reaction, the amount of moles, the total amount of moles before the reaction, and the total amount of moles after the reaction. So before the reaction, we already computed in the previous slides that there are 12 moles in total. So we have n here now. And from the previous slide, we know that after the reaction, there are, well, there's one mole of nitrogen, three moles of hydrogen, and four moles of ammonia, which gives us a total of eight moles. So that's n prime here. And we are also given the V before the reaction. And that's the three liters here. So we just solve this. We just substitute the values and solve and we get that after the reaction, there will be 2.0 liters of gas. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!